It is a beautiful day today. Uh, it's getting over COVID recently, so <clears throat> it's a little froggy. Uh, apologize for not getting any, any videos out, but kind of been down. But today I got a request uh, by, via email. I had a gentleman wanted to know how to get the ignition switch. What, what kind of went up on that? Ignition switch? <laughs> Yeah, ignition switch out of an AMC Rebel. I just happen to have one here. Now this old girl, she's been sitting here since like forever. Uh, no windows, leaky roof. So this one's probably not going to come out real easy. Uh, but we're going to get her out. And that'll kind of give him and you all an idea of how it comes out. It may not come out and hopefully, well, it may not come out in one piece. Hopefully it will. Uh, I kind of toyed with it a little bit. It seems like it might be alright, but if she's rusted together real hard, I may have to put some pliers on her and might score her up a bit. Hopefully, you know, yours will be in better shape and you won't have to worry about that. But let's uh, take a quick look at the car. I thought just for fun we'd take a look at <clears throat> the last time that this thing was uh, registered. I don't know if y'all can make that out, but it says 1991, February 1991. So that's the last time this thing was ever registered. And like I said, she's uh, she's got no windows. Well, I guess she does have a window, but it's uh, I don't think it's doing a whole lot of good. Uh, but here's the interior of the car. As you can tell, she's been she's been leaking on for a while. Uh, but there's still a lot of good parts, and I've been selling some parts off her. And if you need parts, by all means, get in touch with me, and we'll gladly sell you some parts. We're going to walk on over here. We're going to take a look at the uh, ignition switch. Yeah, there it is. All right. No key. Hey, so if we need a key to get it out, we're kind of screwed. But uh, if we have to, we'll drill her out. But we're going to get that out. It's lovely, this roof. You see that? <laughs> that's that's uh, a sunroof. You know, this, is, this has a sunroof in it, as you can see. You know, let's get fresh air. It's like kind of a... Like an old-fashioned t-top maybe you know but uh, yeah so anyhow so let's go ahead and get started now <clears throat> it's kind of a weird angle but here is the uh, ignition <clears throat> now from what I understand we're supposed to be able to push this forward it's got a little spring on it yep see that and how that's coming forward now I'm gonna gently can't hardly get in here. I'm gonna push this forward. <clears throat> There's like a spring or something in there. Well, I pushed it forward a lot easier a minute ago. Here we go. And I'm gonna grab a hold of this and I'm gonna twist. Well, that's just great. So, supposedly, you can get a hold of this and spin it. But, I've got two hands. I really kind of need three. Yep, that's not working. Let me get all of it with this one. Nope. Yeah, she's she's going to be stubborn. I figured she would because she's only been in there for 100 years. Let me, I'm going to get a little Earl. I'm going to get some spray lube and I'm going to shoot a little bit in there and let it eat for a minute. Alright, I got some, this is the one with the, <clears throat> the bent straw. So, you know, you can go around corners with this one. And so, if I can get myself situated in here, I'll go ahead and push her through. Try to get a little, well, except for a brand new can won't spray. Ah, oh, that's great. There we go. There we get some in there. All right. Hopefully some of that made it in. <clears throat> Pardon me, man. All right. I'm also going to do vice grips. Uh, that way I can keep my hands free while I'm at this. I'm going to go real gentle with it. Got the kind of the curved jaw because we're going around a round thing. So we're just going to go ahead and. It's nice got this steering wheel in my throat here. It's great. I might maybe we'll get the steering column apart first. That would be no, that would be too smart. So 
want to get this kind of set up. I don't want to put a lot of pressure on it because I don't want I don't want to score it up. Plus, it's a collar, so I don't want to crush it on there, you know. So I think I'm gonna lay a little more. I think that might that might do us. All right, now the fun part. I'm gonna try to push this forward as much as possible. Oh yeah, that's good right there. And then get a hooker on here and see if we can't. Uh, I've got a little play. But uh, she's kind of turning in my hand on the back side, so let's see what we can do. Uh, well, that didn't work so good. Owies. So we'll put some glovage on. See if I can't get a little better grip on that. That's uh, pretty sharp in there. All right, we tighten this up a little more and push her through again. Oh. There we go. I'm not sure which way we're supposed to turn here, so. I got some play. Oh, there she is. Woohoo! All right. Gotcha. Well, now we got her out from under the dash. We've got a little, little clippy thingy here on the, you know, little plastic clip that we need to. It actually looks like it needs to go in. That way. So let's see. Get a little pryage. This goes. It's pretty flat in there. So maybe it's got to go this way. So I'm going to pry it up. I'm going to pry it up. Okay, well, I'm going to pry it up. No, she don't want to let go. Looks like it is going though. So we just gotta. There we go. Gotta pry it up. <laughs> okay. So I'm gonna pry it up. There we go. Now she's moved a little bit, I think. Nope. Nope. She's not moved. Let's try that again. We're gonna pry it up and then out. Oh, there he goes. Probably one on this side too. Oh yeah. Oh, there's three. That's that's awesome. So, hey, I'll tell you one thing about AMC. They really didn't want their cars falling apart. They really, really didn't because these buggers are over engineered, big time. And there we go. And we're gonna pry it out. I tried that a few, a few times before. Nope, this one's still giving me trouble. Man, I'll tell you what. It doesn't help that it's been, you know, in the rain for 20 years and, you know, and the plastic's pliable as a piece of steel. There we go. Well, come on. Lee, Sergeant Carter. And the funny thing is, you can't even see the clip. You know, kind of a, well, you know, maybe you just push it in like this. Yeah, you push it in. <laughs> My bad, figured it out the last minute. It's got a little hooky thingy. I don't know if you can see that. And you just push in on that. So yeah, well anyway. And there we go. 
there's the it's got a spring on it see the spring and that's what we were compressing in the back there and that spring puts pressure up against the back of this and uh, then we get uh, you know, get this glove off of here and then it's got a little collar okay like this and see the little J hook I figure the lighting is a little better out here so there's a little dot see it I don't know if you can see that dot right there and it's got a couple of notches here too so you want to make sure that's all lined up well, it's going to be stubborn now there we go and then when you take your collar okay you want to line up those little doohickeys there and this this little J hook has to go over the collar push this in goes down turn and boop there you go that's all that was holding it in there now out here because I lubed it up comes right off nice and easy you know but when it was in there this was all rusted hard together and so I got a little oil in there and was able to get her to come loose that's pretty much pretty much it right there and look I barely scored it with the vice grip because I went gentle on that if that was my car well it is my car I guess technically but it's a parts car and this is actually reusable it's got a little booger right there barely but definitely still a decent piece uh, if, if, if it's your car and you want to make sure this stays beautiful uh, you may want to go ahead and maybe put a little rag or something in between the vice grip or maybe there's some soft jaw vice grips out there I probably need to invest in a pair uh, but again this didn't this didn't hardly score it at all because I put very little pressure on it if you look at the side you can see where the teeth went in but probably nothing you'd ever notice in the car um, so anyway and hopefully yours won't be quite that corroded 1991 with no windows you know 20 years uh, she's not too bad well that's the end of that uh, wasn't that difficult getting that ignition switch out I was gonna kinda put this together with another video but it turned out to be the other one was so intense that it's just the ignition so have, enjoy my nice short video on pulling the ignition out hope it made life a lot easier for you do me a favor to subscribe we'll have lots more of these in the future taking things apart and in a few times putting some things back together uh, on some of the other projects hope you enjoyed it stay tuned Just subscribe